All right, folks, Kyle, AA0Z here. I am going to show you what I keep in my accessory tackle box here. I bought this tackle box. It is a Plano 1444 tackle box. I bought this tackle box probably in 2016 or 17, and I will put a link in the description below. But this tackle box houses all of the things that I need whenever I do a portable activation or whenever I go out and operate that um, I might need out in the field. Now, do I take this every time that I go out in the field? No. I take it a lot of times and it's supplemented by a larger Craftsman tool bag that has a lot of other stuff and that is another video, but I wanted to concentrate on this Plano 140 or 1444 tackle box and all the stuff that I have in it. I did a video like this a while ago and I'll put a link in the description of that video. This tackle box and the contents have morphed quite a bit. So I just wanted to go through all of it and show you what I take and maybe it'll spur some of you to either buy this and create your own accessory box or you know, just uh, might uh, give you some ideas on what to take on a portable activation. All right, this first top part, let me open it up here. And I, at first, didn't put anything up here at the top, but it has grown and grown and grown over the years. So actually, I'm going to spin around here so I can get to some of the items. So let's start here at the back. Uh, here is a chip for my Tigertronics TNC. Oh, no, no, it's not a TNC. It's just a sound, sound card, and I keep my, uh, my KX3 chip in here. This is just hookup wire, and then these next uh, six bends are just nothing but connectors. I usually keep the, the B and Cs, up here, PL259s in this bin, a miscellaneous of these um, SMAs and reverse SMAs here. Here is a bunch of N connectors, and then also I've got some BNC to F connectors. I've used those before for uh, receiving antennas. Some more BNC connectors for repeater work and uh, two meter. 440, and then barrel connectors here in this compartment. So I have gathered a ton of connectors at HamFest. Every time I go to a HamFest, I buy, I don't know, $20 worth of connectors because they either leave the box and never return or um, they're used for other things. Down here is a bunch of splitters. I've got a stereo splitter. And then also I keep my push-to-talk splitters here. So you can see that I've got uh, eighth inch to eighth inch splitter, eighth inch to eighth inch PTT. And these go along with these uh, adapters over here that we'll get to. Here's another stereo splitter, eighth inch to eighth inch. Here is uh, PTT, eighth inch to eighth inch. And then PTT eighth inch to quarter inch. These are bullet connectors that I have made. They are male to male, female to female. If you watched my octopus antenna video, you'll recognize that I put these bullet connectors on the end of those. And I've got a bunch of friends who have those same antennas. And whenever we bring these to Missouri QSO or we go operate port portable, um, there's always somebody that has put a female end instead of a male end on the end of their antenna and we have to do a general uh, a um, gender change <laughs> on the end of the antenna. Here in this compartment, here's a bunch of bungee cords. You can never have enough bungee cords. Here is my uh, Anderson power pole instructions because I can never remember how the Anderson power poles go together. A dummy load with a barrel connector on the end of it. 
And then these are a bunch of adapters I have for all of my radios. So here is a KX3. So this goes into the mic, and then this is an adapter for your headphones and your, um, your push to talk, which is your microphone, or your microphone and then your push to talk goes into, uh, into this also. Here's the same thing for a Kenwood. I purchased one for a Yesu. And then I made all of these push to talk pedal adapters. So I've standardized on blue and black Anderson power pole connectors. And then these are, this goes into the pedal. So I've got another one on the pedal and I've got a bunch of tattoo pedals and I'll put a link in the description above for the tattoo pedals that I've made. So this is eighth inch, here is quarter, and then an RCA jack for the flex radios. So uh, these are the adapters. This is the flex adapter that I purchased for the Heil microphones. And I guess I need to, to preference this. These are for my Heil headset, my, my uh, PR80. No, PR10, I can't remember. It is the professional series. And then I've got a couple of adapters here, SMA to SMA. I think that goes to my uh, SWR meter, my, um, you know, that thing that has that screen on it. So that is what is in this top compartment. So let me reset this and then I will show you what's in the other compartments because this thing is about four layers deep. All right, let's spin this thing around and let's get into the middle layer of this. So this is the middle layer. And actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring the light around on this other side. So it's a little bit better easier to see in here. So let's start in this back compartment. Really didn't have anywhere to put these and I probably should take these out, but these are ferrite cores that are snap-on that I cut the uh, outside of so they could fit around some um, LMR 400. And I also have a pair of helping hands in here. And then I think that I have a Mix 43 in here and a Mix 31. You never know whenever you need to, you got some RF issues and you need to um, bring the RF down and wrap something in a core. This next compartment is a bunch of adapters. You can see I've got Anderson Power Pole to, I don't even know what this is called, a Kenwood adapter maybe. I've got, um, some fuses in here. Let's just see all the crap that's in here. Oh my gosh. Look at all this stuff. So here I've got, um, oh, that's a TRS to TS cable. I don't know when I'd use that, but I've got it. Here is a eighth inch TRS to quarter inch TRS. I've got another TS to TS cable. I've got a, oh my gosh, that's probably, I don't know what that is. That's smaller than an eighth inch. Maybe a 32nd, maybe a 16th. Anyway, that's a TRS to an eighth inch TRS. Looks like I made that. I don't even know what this is. This looks like a ballon of some type. Maybe I need to take that out. Here's a 50 ohm load, a 50 ohm resistor that I made up. And then I've got a prolific chipset, serial to USB. It's even, it goes even deeper, it's even worse. Here's an Elecraft USB to TRS cable. Here's some alligator clips. Oh my gosh, I had no idea that I had all this crap in here. Here's the other side of that uh, fuse. Here's some more alligator clips. Here's more Kenwood connectors to Anderson power poles. Probably asking yourself, why do you keep all this stuff? Well, 
At one point, I needed it, and I thought I needed it. Here are some spade connectors to Anderson power poles. Here is a USB cable. Oh, that's Firewire. I don't know why I have that in there. Here is a just a Cat6 cable, one of the skinny Cat6 cables. Here is a distribution block, and then here is a spade connector to a spade connector. Have no idea why this is in there. So you can see that I've, you know, I didn't clean any of this stuff out before I started this video because I wanted you to see the mess of stuff that I collect and I just keep here in the box. And it's, uh, it has a home. It at one time had a purpose. It might have a purpose later, but uh, I'm going to keep this out. But these are the things that I take out on the road. And you're probably asking yourself, that thing is probably pretty heavy. Yes, it is. It's probably, I want to say, every bit of 25 to 30 pounds. Here's a bunch of soldering and shrink wrap. So 3D printed this uh, clean out. There's a bunch of solder. So I've got that in there. Here's where I keep a bunch of zip ties. And then I've got my power meter in there. I've got my soldering iron that needs to be plugged in. If you're out in the middle of nowhere, that does you no good, unless you have a generator. Here's some nail polish that uh, you can basically put over solder joints so they don't bridge together. Here's some flux. Here is a solder sucker. Uh, that should probably go in here. This is a uh, another TRS to TRS cable. Don't know how that got in there. And then here is a serial to USB. It's probably a FTDI chip. So this is where I put a lot of my soldering stuff. I've got more in my other uh, Craftsman bag. So then here is a bunch of just mainly, mainly, oh, here's that other. See, all that crap is all over the place. These are a bunch of spade connectors in one of these totes. Here is more shrink wrap and even more shrink wrap. So I think I got this from Harbor Freight. So that goes down in these slots here. And that's where that lives. This here is a insert that goes on top of here and they have compartments so I've got some Wagyu connectors some quarter 20 bolts have no idea Anderson power pole inserts so I've got some of those some solder wick got a lot of solder wick Anderson power poles that are the 45 amp. I've got a paper clip for resetting like your phone or anything like that. So here is these um, these bullet connectors come in handy. Some extra fuses. Down here is a bunch of just different connectors, right, that you can solder on in the field. Here's a banana. Here's a TS connector. Here's a, that looks like a nine pin DIN, maybe a 15 pin DIN. Here's a TS connector. There's a TRS connector, eighth inch. So you can see I just got a bunch of connectors here that you can solder on in the field if you need. Here's where I keep my Anderson power poles, more solder wick. Here are tips for my soldering iron, more fuses. Uh, butt connectors for connecting wires together. Here's some spade connectors and some ring terminals. More ring terminals. Here are, these are, um, I forgot what the name of these are called. Somebody in the chat or the comments will tell me. But anyway, These are RCA connectors and these are just, um, I guess they're just terminal ring or just, um, TS or T, well, actually they would be TS, yeah, because they only have two connectors. 
But um, yeah, they got a terminal block on the back of them that you can make a connection real fast. Here's inserts for PL259s. Here's a dummy load. Here's some BNC connectors. Here's some more adapters, so headphone adapters. Down over here, more PL259 connectors. Here's a 9 volt battery connector, PL259, BNC adapters. These PL259 adapters are awesome. They're compression. I bought these off of eBay in a tight pinch. These things work great. Um, I fully recommend them. I wouldn't put these on for anything that you're going to use permanent, but for a pinch, they are great. Here are some more connectors. We've got a little bit of screwdriver for pushing in these Anderson power poles and then an Anderson power pole extractor here. And that is what is in this compartment. So this comes over here. You got to make sure that those are snap shut because whenever you pull this over all the contents dump out and it's a pain in the ass. So here let me bring the light back over. This is a hodgepodge. I probably need to go over this and remove a bunch of stuff but I've got grounding lugs. Who knows what these are. Cable ties. More grounding lugs. I've got more connectors here that I've pulled off of different things. Here's a, a nine pin connector with the ends on it. Some two to three uh, AC adapters. Oh my gosh, remember these? Remember these PS2 connectors for keyboard and mouse? Here's a DB25 and a DB9 connector. If I ever need one of those, here's some old batteries that I probably need to replace, some alligator clips, some dog bones, S clips, Kenwood connectors, gender connectors for anything under the sun, RS-232, 25-pin connectors. Here is, I believe this is a crossover cable that I made back in my networking days. So it's a crossover cable. Here is a, another pinout for it looks like a monitor. Here's a pinout for a 25, a DB25. Yep. And can I get that back in? Sure. Um, a terminal block, some Velcro. Who knows what the, the a USB, the mini micro USB, who knows. Some AC or wire connectors, whatever those things are called that you put the connectors in and you twist them. Um, here's a headphone splitter. Here's a null modem. And last but not least, here is, looks like I was doing a project and I messed it up, so I put this in here. Anderson power poles to some hookup cable and a Jubilee clip as they say over in England. So, that is this accessory bo box. I mean, I probably have, I don't know, 500 different things, maybe 750 different things in this box. And this thing goes everywhere with me. I take this, and also my Craftsman tool bag over there with all of my tools. Whenever I go to Poda, obviously it doesn't go up on the mountain whenever I do soda, but if I'm going somewhere where I'm going to be close to my truck and I'm gonna be operating for a while, this goes along with my tool bag. So, hope you got something out of this. Um, maybe some of these things can make it into your Plano box or your tackle box. So I just wanted to let you see all the things that I take and maybe this will spur some ideas. Thanks guys, 73.